tutorial, we're going to again look at how powerful the quick selection tool is with selecting shapes and have some more practice with using the free transform tool. So in Bridge, what I'm going to do is open up this car here and using the quick selection tool, I'm going to select just the body of the car. And as you can see, the quick selection tool can easily identify um, where the chassis ends as it hits the background. Just grab this front light and grab the windows. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go copy. I'm going to copy this, uh, what I've selected. And I'm going to go new page. I'm just going to make the new page um, s actually slightly higher. And click OK. Now I'm going to paste the car here. In this tutorial, we're going to also look at using the marquee tool does. So what the marquee tool does is you can obviously select um, parts of an image with a different shape. In this case, I'd like to select this wheel here. So I'm just going to hold down the mouse and select that wheel. Now I'm simply going to copy it and paste the wheel, uh, which makes a new layer over here. Every time you paste something, it makes a new layer. I'm just going to enlarge this wheel using the free transform tool. If you hold down shift and enlarge, it keeps it in proportion. All right. So what I'm looking at actually doing is um, I'll just rename these layers. Wheel front and car just helps with your management of your images so I'm just going to duplicate this layer and move this wheel here and what I'm looking to do is obviously make it look like the car has been lowered drag the car at the top adjust the wheel slightly with your um, arrow keys It's quite a neat way um, to see how you can have layers behind other layers. So we've gone from this image here, a standard Buick, to a lowered Buick with um, wider rims. So in this tutorial, what we looked at was using um, the quick selection tool once again. Uh, we've introduced the marquee tools. And, and obviously managing our layers again.